Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. The traditional square of opposition is the topic of this video. The modern square of opposition is extended here to the Aristotelian standpoint. Here is the square of opposition. These letters represent the four categorical propositions. Now remember from previous lessons the contradictory relation. A and O propositions contradict. They both have opposite truth values. And likewise, E and I propositions are contradictory. They have opposite truth value. See the video on the modern square of opposition for more information on that. And in this video, we're going to see more relations with the square of opposition, namely contrary, subcontrary, and subalternation, for a total of four relations. Contradictory means catty corners are contradictory. Contrary means at least one A or E is false. Subcontrary means at least one I or O is true. And subalternation means truth flows down and falsity flows up. Let's look at each relation in more detail. Contrary, at least one A or E is false. For example, if the A proposition is true, then the E is false, because at least one must be false. And likewise, if the E is true, then the A is false. But, if the A is given as false, the E could be either true or false, because the rule only says that at least one is false. They very well could both be false. So the E has undetermined truth value. Similarly, if the E proposition is given as false, then the A has undetermined truth value. At least one must be false, and one is already given as false. So the other one could be either true or false. Now here's a pop quiz. If the E proposition is true, what is the A proposition? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Ding! False. At least one must be false. Next practice problem. If A is false, what is the truth value of E? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Ding! Undetermined. Only one must be false. The other can be either. Well, very good. Subcontrary is next. The subcontrary rule says at least one of the I or O propositions is true. For example, if I is false, then O must be true. If the O is false, then the I is true. At least one must be true. However, if the I is given as true, then the O has undetermined truth value. At least one must be true, but they could both be true. Now, since I is already true, O could be true or false. It's undetermined. And likewise, if O is true, then the I has undetermined truth value. Now, here's a pop quiz. If I is true, what is O? The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! Undetermined truth value. Next practice problem. If O is false, what is I? The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! I is true. One must be true. Subalternation is next. The relation exists on the sides of the square, between the A and the I, and between the E and the O. Now, subalternation says that truth flows downwards and falsity flows upwards. Subalternation can be represented with arrows. The true arrows point down, and the false arrows point up. So if the A proposition is true, then the I is true. And if the I is false, then the A is false. But if the A is false, then the I is undetermined, because falsity does not flow downward. Similarly, if the I is true, then the A is undetermined. The same results hold for the E and the O propositions. 
Pop quiz. If I is false, what is A? The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! False, because falsity flows upward. Next practice problem. If E is true, what is O? The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! O is true. Truth flows downward. Next practice problem. If O is true, what is E? The answer in three, two, one. Ding! E is undetermined. Truth does not flow upward. Very good job. Let's now see how all four relationships work together. If A is true, then O is false by contradiction. Next, we can use either contrary or subalternation to compute the truth value of the E proposition, and E is false. Finally, by contradictory, I is true. The result can also be obtained by subcontrary from O, but suppose that E is false. From contradiction, I is true, but A is undetermined, by both contrary and subalternation. Also, O is undetermined, by contradictory, subcontrary, and subalternation. Actually, after contradictory is used to compute the first truth value, it is never necessary to use more than one relation to compute the next. If one relation gives undetermined truth value, then so will the others. Also note that undetermined truth values always occur in pairs, catty corner to one another. So time to work some practice problems involving all four relations. Practice problem number one, if I is false, what are the other truth values? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! E is true, O is true, and A is false. Next practice problem. If O is true, what are the other truth values? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! A is false, and E and I are undetermined. Next practice problem. If E is true, what are the other truth values? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! I is false, A is false, and O is true. Next practice problem. If A is false, what are the other truth values? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! O is true, and E and I are undetermined. Next practice problem. If I is true, what are the other truth values? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! E is false, and A and O are undetermined. Next practice problem. If O is false, what are the other truth values? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! A is true, E is false, and I is true. Next practice problem. If A is true, what are the other truth values? Press pause if you need to. The answer is three, two, one. Ding! O is false. I is true, and E is false. Final practice problem. If E is false, what are the other truth values? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! I is true, and A and O are undetermined. Very good job on those practice problems. You are another step closer to advancing to the next level. See my other videos on logic. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.